All right, in this lesson, we are going to begin learning how to do our Andy Warhol project. And one of the first things that you're going to have to do in this lesson is to know where your layers are and your layer panels uh, so that you can work with these layers. Um, I just opened up layers here for you so you can see where they're going to go. Uh, what I do want you to see is that this palette here is expandable by selecting this little triangle area down here in the bottom right corner and we're going to pay close attention to these layers as we go. We're going to do this in uh, a couple parts. Uh, the first part we're going to learn about uh, placing our image into a document and getting our image set up so that we can create the Andy Warhol project. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open our image from Photoshop and, or into Photoshop. Basically, what you're going to need to do is take your image from iPhoto and drag it onto the desktop. When you drag it onto the desktop, then you'll be able to open it in Photoshop. Now, once we uh, open our photo in Photoshop, we're going to take and select desktop because that's where we're going to store our photo from iPhoto is find the photo and so I've got to find my JPEG image that is on the desktop and so I'm going to go ahead and select here and double click and now I've got my image here. Now you're going to notice that we just have a nice shot of my shoulders up to the top of my head here with just a little bit of room left and we're going to use this image to create our Andy Warhol project but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this image and outline it with the uh, brush tool. Before we do that we have to select our background layer and unlock it so that we can go ahead and create uh, a new layer. So what you're going to do is simply double click on the lock here and then it'll say layer 0, you don't have to name it yet and simply se select OK and now we can select any tool that we want to work with and begin to uh, create an outline of our image here. Now we're only going to outline uh, the most important features of our face, our hair, our eyebrows, our eyes, uh, any facial lines, um, mouth, chin, uh, your shirt and your shoulders, ears. Uh, we're going to outline this whole thing with a with a pen tool. Before we do that we want to create these l outlines on a layer that's going to be above layer zero. That way we'll have an independent layer with our lines created above this. We don't want to create these lines on top and have it be a part of this image. We want it to be separate. So we're going to create a new layer. So let's select layer, new, layer. And this layer is going to be on top of the previous layer. Whatever layer you have selected, when you create a new layer, it drops it in right on top of the previous layer you had selected. So this was our only layer, but it was selected, and now we have a new layer on top. And if I made a new layer above this one, or a duplicate layer, it would go above layer 1. So every layer you select goes above the one you have selected. So if I select layer 1 right or layer 0 right now, that would give me layer number 2 in between layers 1 and 0. All right, let's go ahead and start to create our image. Let's go ahead and get our paintbrush. And we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to create an outline. Now you can see right now that my brush is probably a little bit too thick to create a nice outline. So what I'm going to have to do is change my brush. And that's what I'm going to do right here. First thing I notice is that this brush is very fuzzy. When you create your outline for your face, you're going to have to create a very sharp edge, a very nice, clean, crisp looking line. So we're going to change the size of the brush or the diameter of the brush and we're also going to change uh, the hardness of the brush. So I'm going to select here in this little blue uh, button here and I'm going to take this down to about a 3 or 4. Let's leave it at 4 for the moment and I'm going to take this hardness slider and take it all the way up to 100% and now I'm gonna uh, click and drag where I want to start so let's just go ahead and start here and we'll just see if this is gonna work for us so take your time you don't have to go fast I think this line is actually a little bit too thick 
and so I'm just going to go ahead and undo that and so we'll, we can either undo or step backwards so I'm going to undo the brush and I'm going to reset this brush to a 3 now I'm going to take my cursor and delete that number 4 and type in a number 3 and now I can go ahead and begin to draw here now what I want you to do is to take your time here so you don't have to go fast and simply outline your face and if you have to stop and move your cursor if you go too fast you make a mistake if you're off a little bit that's fine uh, you're not going to do yourself uh, any harm if you just do a nice uh, outline and I'm gonna go a bit fast here because I want you to get to uh, the best part of this work as we go Now, if you have to stop and reselect you can simply make sure you're right on top of that line and reselect that way you don't have to clean anything up later and as I said I'm going a bit quick here you're gonna have to go quite a bit slower and get a little more detail um, around this image um, as you can see I'm gonna drop down here and get my my ear and if I'm not perfect that's fine I'm simply going to try to be as close as I can uh, so that I can finish this be as smooth as possible try not to let your hand jump or move around as you're moving the the mouse you wanna keep a nice smooth line of your face um, now I'm gonna begin to create the ears here and just wanna make sure I don't overdo it too much but just follow the outline and shapes of your ear. You can even color inside your ear here a little bit if you wanted. You could add a little bit to this if you like. Let's come over and get the other ear. And notice that the ears are not going to be identical. Uh, that's okay. Uh, this does not have to be a perfect image uh, that we're creating and drawing. So just be aware of that. Um, if you make a slight little mistake, that's fine. It's not going to um, make the image um, unusable and we're simply going to keep creating these lines notice I'm just going along the collar here and I'm gonna draw outside here now I'm gonna fudge a little bit and bring my shoulder down here and I'm gonna do the same on this side because I don't wanna have my image go all the way to that outer edge um, I wanna just round it off a little bit to make my shoulders look a little shorter that's fine if you do that and again I'm, I'm going a bit quick here you're gonna uh, do this quite a bit slower than I am to make sure that you have all the details now when I uh, do the outer edge of this this lip here I'm gonna do the outline uh, now that wasn't a very good line so I'm gonna undo this or step backwards either one is fine but I'm going to take my time and I'm going to try to stay on the outer edge of the lips just so that it's got a little bit more of a space to it. Um, I want to make sure that I get a nice representation here. And notice I'm trying to stay to the outer edge of my lip. It gives me a little more room to fill in and color later. Um, so if I stay to the outside a little bit, even if I fudge just a little bit, that's fine. Um, I will try to get this nice little... Uh, my lips separated here and if you fudge just a little bit or if you're not exactly perfect that's fine you just want to make sure that everything closes off this will you'll see why later when we create this and now I'm gonna get to my nose and like I said if you're not perfect that's fine if you want to be perfect you can come back and just redo this like a, that's not a very good line there so let's Let's undo that. Alright, so let's do that one more time. And we'll stop here. And we'll continue on in the next lesson. Um, and we're going to finish the eyes and the eyebrows. Hope this helps you. If you need any help, come see me in class or email me and we will work this out together. Uh, good luck and I hope uh, this is going well for you.